Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another concept that is based on the loading load balancing method. See here, this is one of the example which is given based on the loading load balancing method. See here, in the last example, I solved one example based on the tendon with parabolic profile. There what happened if you resolve tendon with parabolic profile, what happened means while finding net uh, downward load, we are do taking W will be equal to W minus WC. So here 40 minus WC. What is this WC? Again for WC, 8 pH by L square. Like that we are solving. But here in the load bal balancing method concept, what is the definition here? What we have to remember? So the upward forces transmitted by the cable. So here whatever the upward forces transmitted by this cable exactly neutralized the applied loading. So exactly neutralize the externally applied loading. So this one. So that one will be equal to WC will be equal to W. That is WC will be equal to 40. So exactly neutralize the upward extern, uh, externally applied loading. So which is called load balancing method. So we have to remember like that. WC will be equal to W. Which, is, which are the forces acting upwards will be neutralized the exactly downward loading. So, so if this condition what happens? We know 8pH by L square will be equal to 40. So here what is the question? You please remember. Determine the profile of load balancing cable for a span of 6 meters. So take down the given data. I am taking here only. L equal to 6 meters. And again carrying an all inclusive load of 40 km per meter. So already taken which is W here. And again the pre-stressing force in the tendon will be 1200 kN. And again the beam section will be area will be equal to 400 by 600. So what we are going to find here determine the profile of the load balancing cable for a beam. So here we have to find out the H value which is exactly the dip of the cable. Okay profile of load. So based on the what is unknown here we have to find this H value. See here each and every value will be there. H will be equal to 40 L square by 8 P. Again. Simplify this one, 40 into length of the span will be given 6 meters which is 6 square by 8 into P value will be taken, how much? P value will be equal to 1200 in kilonewtons. If you simplify how much the dip of the value you will get, check once. So after calculating the dip of the cable you will get around 0 0.15. So here length of the span is in meters, you will get uh, meters only. So which is 0 0.15 in terms of meters only. Then what are the uniform stresses acting here? If you want, you can find the uniform stresses also. We, we know P by A. So that one will be equal to 1200 in terms of 10 to the power of 3. Area will be equal to 24 into 10 to the power of 4, 6, which is 400 by 600, 10 to the power of 4. So approximately you will get a uh, 5 Newton per mm square. So which is compressive. So we know after finding the dip of the cable while taking the load balancing method if they ask the bending moment also we can find easily what is m by z. So we are neutralizing the values we are taking directly wl square by a directly. So like that we can solve the formula based on the given conditions. 